Good day. Welcome to the iconic Flinders Street Station in Melbourne. The growing army of Lions fans has swelled the number of commuters this week. They arrive in a city that's convinced they're not only the sporting capital of Australia, they're number one in the world. They've got a point. Melbourne takes some beating. There's the G, the MCG. Capacity 100,000, the largest stadium in the country. The focal point for Olympics and Commonwealth Games. The locals say this is the spiritual home of Australian sport and the place for history, drama and emotion. Right next door, it's Melbourne Park, home of the Australian Tennis Open every January. In the Rod Laver Arena, Agassi and Federer have both been very successful. So's Novak Djokovic, who's all set to go for his fourth successive title in 2014. At Flemington, on the first Tuesday in November, there's the horse race that stopped the nation since 1861. The Melbourne Cup, one of the richest two-mile handicaps in the world. Last year's winner, the outsider Green Moon, earned 3.6 million Australian dollars in just 3 minutes 20 seconds. Just up the road, it's Albert Park. The Formula One season blasts off round this street circuit every March. Kimi Raikkonen took the chequered flag for Lotus this year. It's a familiar place for me as well. I watched Michael Schumacher winning three in a row for Ferrari. Now we're in the city's Docklands, revving up for some high-speed rugby collisions. It's another splendid facility at the Victorian capital of sport.